Hey guys, big flip here. This is a video that will be about the new kiln that I've ordered off of eBay. I had a different kiln and that kiln was digital and it was, this one's digital, but the other one was super difficult to dial in. And um, it was also a swing door load from the front kiln. And I just didn't like it. I used it so much in about a month's time that it burned the element out. So I sent that back. No problems. I did have a problem getting the money back from the original seller. eBay uh, jumped in and got me the money back on that. So I went about six months to a year without um, having a kiln around. I was using a torch for quite a while. And so I decided to order up another kiln. There's a lot of great channels out there that are doing work with uh, free pours of silver and gold and things like that. So I decided to order up a new kiln and I did that. And it is the, it is the two auto um, gold melting furnace. It is a three upgrade furnace. So very, very neat. I will show you the unboxing. Then I'm gonna show you what it looks like on eBay and we can do that. First of all, I want to thank the YouTubers for coming in and hanging out and watching this video. And second of all, I want to thank the Flip family for being who you are. I appreciate you every time you come into my room. So thank you for that. Don't forget to like and subscribe the video if you like it. And um, thumbs up or down, doesn't matter. Uh, thank you very much for that. So let's change a view here to, let's go picker. There we go. So this is the kiln. Uh, it's $329 is what it ended up costing me, but I had a $100 voucher uh, that Sidekick gave me for my birthday, so it cost me $229. Then there was a coupon uh, for $20 off of this price, so it really cost me about $200, though it was a $329 on eBay. I think right now you could order it and still get the $20 off coupon. If you look at what we get with this kiln, um, you get the two crucibles. One is a 1 kg and the other one is a 3 kg. And then you're going to get the uh, small uh, molds with it. Let's look at this view here. Um, let's look at this one. So there's the crucibles and the small mold that you get along with it. And then you're also going to get the uh, pinchers for the crucible. And you're also going to get the digital readout. So there's an actual temperature and then a set temperature, which is really, really nice, simple, straightforward. There was also an upgrade done on this kiln from the other one. And the handles and the wider base are added for um, the third upgrade on this kiln. And then that's not so much a bump protection, but it is a heat sink or it diffuses the heat that's coming off of the kiln. So there's also a video that you can look at um, and watch that if you want to go over there and check that out. So we're gonna do the unboxing right now. It's it's a top loader. I really like that it's that it's a top loader. It, you can't put a huge amount of like aluminum and things like that in it that would um, that you would have a lot of molting metal in there. This one is only a three kg, but if we're pouring like three or four small pours, it's perfect for that. It's 110 volts, which is ideal. You don't have to do some kind of upgrade to uh, get the 220 volts. So um, supposedly it heats up faster, it has a higher temperature and it's more stable and faster operation. We'll see. This is a two part video to what's going on with this kiln. So I will change the view now and you guys can check out the unboxing of this and what you will see um, when you get it home. So, let's just crack it open. Starts off with a couple protection gloves, which is super neat. Then we're going to have the literature user's manual, the pincers. Let me check this out. Let's 
Mm, pretty neat. Looks like some quality there. The power cord, 110 volt. And then looks like a very small crucible. I mean a very small um, pour mold. We'll set that aside. And then it looks like two crucibles. This one's going to be the 1 kg. And this one is going to be the 3 kg. Pretty neat. They'll drop right in the top of that kiln. Let's uh, see how easy this is going to be to get out of here. Matter of fact, I was afraid of this. So let's just cut it down the side. I'll recycle the box later. You'll find the link in the description below for this kiln, but as you can see, um, I'll go back to it when we're all said and done, and we will look at eBay one more time and go over everything. Probably should have had this out of there, but it is gonna be an unboxing video, so very neat. Not too heavy, it's a little top heavy. You gotta be careful about that. Two auto one to three kg kiln. Pretty neat. My suggestion is to fire it up the, for the first time and um, make sure that you heat it all the way up uh, so that everything gets. Um, so everything gets heated up and you don't end up cracking any of the firewalls or anything like that. Heat it all the way up and then let it cool all the way down and I think you ought to be good. Here is the crucible. It just drops in the top. They are graphite by the way. Once they get hot a couple times they'll start um, discoloring your hands because of the graphite. Same thing pencils are made of. Looks like a digital readout, yes. On off switch, simple straightforward with a little bit of heat protection right here. So this is the first part of this video. Second part is I'm going to um, already have it heated up for the first time and then we're gonna throw a couple ounces of silver in here and we're gonna do a couple small, small pours. So in this you get the instruction manual. You're gonna get a set of protection gloves. You're gonna get the pincers for the crucible like this and if you look at the crucible it's got a little pour um, spout there on it so that's pretty neat I can't wait to use this thing and then you're gonna have your your small pour mold and then your power cord so thank you all for coming in uh, I'll show you the eBay one more time exactly what's going on and it's called the upgraded gold melting furnace one plus three kilogram all right and um, it does give you like three upgrade versions there's the 1.1 1.2 1.3 but it's supposed to go up to a thousand um, two thousand degrees Fahrenheit so that's not needed uh, you know in the area of 1100 degrees is probably enough and then it says ideal eight and one smelter kiln kit. That's the eight and one, meaning that the two crucibles, the mold, the gloves, the pincers. Looking forward to it. I thank you all for coming in and watching the video. I appreciate each and every one of you. Do something nice for somebody, pay it for it every chance you get. I appreciate the Flip family. Thank you very much. You all have a great day. Take care.